Hi guys, Peter Finch here, and it's time for my 2016 What's in the Bag. Now, there's a couple of new additions to my bag since the last time I did this video. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's almost an entirely new What's in the Bag since I did my last one. So there's lots of new things for you guys to hopefully get excited about, and I'm certainly excited about my golf bag heading into this year. So we'll start from the bottom up with the putter. Now, this is a new putter. I did a video on this a while ago. This is my Counterbalance Spider Blade from TaylorMade. And I've been playing around with a few different putters even after I've got this one. Uh, I need to give it a few licks of paint. I've kind of batted it up around the side after I lost my head cover. But you know what? I put well with this. So I've done a lot of practice with it. I did my speed test with this and it does tend to work for me. So what I'm probably gonna do is keep this in the bag. There's no reason to take this out at the moment unless I get another putter in my hands that I think, you know, wow, that's fantastic. We'll play with that. But up to now, this is certainly my favorite. Then we're moving on to the wedges. Now wedges wise, I've got four wedges, a pitching wedge, and then a 52, a 56, and a 60. Now what I'm gonna do is I've got some kind of flight scope data here. I'm just gonna clip a couple of 52s away just to make sure it's all, uh, it's all working correctly, first of all. And yes, that seems absolutely fine. So the wedges that I have are the Cleveland RTX 588. Now these are the Mark II version of these, so the second version of these. I got these last year, and generally with wedges, I. <laughs> I wouldn't mind kind of changing them really pretty much once a year, but actually I really like these wedges and I don't really need to change them at the moment. Again, this is one of those things where maybe, possibly if something comes along, I can kind of switch it up and change it. But up to now, I'm actually pretty happy with these wedges. There's no, like I said, reason for me to actually switch around and change any of these wedges at the moment. I'm perfectly happy with them. So, now, let's go on to the main event, if you will, the actual ones that you've all been waiting for, I think. Now, I certainly know I've been waiting for them. So, iron-wise, I have the new tailor-made PSI Tour. So, these are the forged PSIs, a much thinner profile than the PSIs. I've got the X100 shafts and then a mid-size grip on here. Now, these are replacing my S55s, the pings, and I've been wanting to actually kind of get hold of these and try these and kind of hit around with these for so, so long, and they are literally fresh in the bag today. So you're kind of almost getting a bit of a first impression off of me as I'm actually hitting. And you know what, as first impressions go, that is not too bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I've hit that very, very well, straight on pretty much both simulators. Oh man, I absolutely, um, yeah. I mean, these irons, I absolutely love the look of them. I love the feel of them. Ever since I actually picked them up and saw them first time in America last year, I've been pretty desperate to get my hands on them. Oh, I don't want to be hitting too many pulls though. Slightly off to the left-hand side. But kind of strike-wise and feel-wise, I mean, they are so, so nice. And I really can't wait to actually get out on the course with them. One of the advantages that the PSIs have over the S55s, a little bit newer technology within here. It's got the face slots in here, which are a little bit more forgiving on the off-center hits, which for a forged kind of bladed iron, you know, this could be of quite a lot of benefit for me. but they just feel great. And they're flying for absolutely miles today. Yeah, they're absolutely taking off miles. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the beginning of that. It's also got the channel on the sole of this club as well. Again, just to help with a bit of distance and a little bit of forgiveness. Now I've got the PSI tours in, at the moment I've got it from pitching wedge up to three iron. Now, one of the things that I need to try and figure out it's because I've got it from wedge to three iron, because I've also got three wooded clubs in my bag, which I'll get to, well, metals, that we'll get to in a moment. It tips me over the edge and gives me 15 clubs. Now, the advantage of this is because I've got a three iron and then a hybrid kind of replacement of that I'll show you in a moment. If it's, say, a very, very windy day, and obviously a lot of Lynx courses that we're going to be playing this year are going to be windy, I can maybe throw in the three iron so it gives me a little bit more control over the ball flight. And then if it's a little bit stiller and a little bit calmer, 
I could maybe put the hybrid in, but this is the three iron. Standard loft and line the PSI's for me. But they just absolutely fly. It has to be said. Yeah, it's it's one of those things, you know, what do I what do I shove in? Do I shove in a hybrid? Do I shove in an iron? But it is going to be dependent all on kind of conditions. Now the hybrid that I've actually got is a three iron well, a three iron replacement type of hybrid, 19 degrees. So really it's kind of that five wood, three iron, two iron kind of area. And I've not had a head-to-head -head test on distance wise or dispersion wise at the moment in time, but the hybrid that I've got is the G, so it's got the turbulators on top, and it's the newest one that I've got out. I've got the x -Tor shaft in here at 90 grams as well. And this is actually one of the kind of big surprises for me actually this year, because to be honest, I've never really used hybrid clubs and actually got on with them that well, but it's been a bit of a revelation, this one. I had the crossover in my bag originally, but I've been having a few hits with this. And it just tends to fly really, really well. And it doesn't kind of hook left. I mean, that was a, a classic example. I actually pushed it right. But this doesn't actually seem to hook left that much. It kind of stays and goes off to the right-hand side, if anything, when it misses. So it's a bit of a bit of a a new one for me to have a hybrid which actually does that. And I'm certainly uh, certainly not complaining because my big problem with hybrids club previously was that they hooked off to the left far too much. But this one does seem to go where I want it to more often than not. Slightly off to the right again, but again, decent kind of distance there with the hybrid. Now, if we move up onto the three wood. So I've got the Ping G3 wood as well. I've got this in a slightly stronger setting. So I've got this cranked down to 14 degrees, but one of the big advantages of the new G actual fairway was from the G30 range last year, is that they actually pick up off the ground a lot easier. So they've put a little bit more technology into the sole to make it actually lift the ball up a lot quicker and a lot higher. And what I've actually found with this, is pretty adaptable. I've got the X kind of tour shaft in here, 80 grams as well, but what I'm actually finding with this is it's a lot more adaptable and playable and a lot more user-friendly than the G30. And this is really one of the biggest surprises for me because I'm really enjoying using it. I used the G30 for a while last year, the fairway wood. Liked it, but didn't love it. But this one, I mean, they've moved a few things around the head. They've made the sole in a way that actually allows the ball to be picked up a little bit easier than last year's model. But... You know what, visually it doesn't look massively different, but it seems to perform just so much better. And I've actually been able to crank the loft down because it gets up in the air so easily and actually turn it into a, a real beast off the tee as well as being very workable off the fairway. So it's a kind of best of both worlds scenario, really. I'm kind of happy with, well, it's one of the, the clubs I'm most comfortable with in my bag. Obviously not been using my irons yet. but it just kind of picks up and flies so, so well. I'm really, really pleased with everything that's actually going on with it so far. So yeah, delighted with that. That was just a nice, easy swing. Now, lastly, now you guys will probably know I've been kind of using this club for a while now. This is the new Ping G driver. Um, it's still a real, it's still a little bit kind of split in my mind between this and the M1, which I was using a few months ago. I think I'm probably going to stick with the G just simply because I find it a little bit more forgiving off the off-center strikes. And in Fleetwood uh, Pro-Am that I played the other day and came second in, I hit some absolute beasts with it as well, some real monsters, but also some not quite so there strikes that were actually quite forgiving as well. So I'm kind of happy that I've got... Yeah, a good combination of forgiveness and distance with the G. That's the only real concern that I had with the M1, that it's not quite as forgiving uh, as it could have been. But I was using the 430 version. I wasn't using the 460 version. So again, that's maybe something that I could have a look at. Uh, this is an X Tor shaft as well. Now, deal the row. Got a mid-size grip on this in all my clubs. Let's try and give this a back away for you. Ugh. A little bit high off the face. I'll like another one away for you. A golden bear ball. Ooh, I think I'll uh, 
pop that one away. <laughs> so an old Pro V. Uh, otherwise, in my bag um, that I've kind of sh shown up on video now, I've got the Bushnell Torex laser rangefinder, which I'm using, which I'm again pretty happy with. There's other options I'm experimenting with as well. I've also got the Game Golf, which is going to be going on my irons pretty soon. Uh, the balls that I'm actually experimenting with at the moment, I've been using the new Nike ball for couple of months now and throughout the winter it's performed really well so I'm going to kind of stick with that as it goes into the season. The only other really option I've been trying is the Pro V ball but I've got to be honest between the Pro V, the Nike, TaylorMade which I've been using the difference is it's massive. They're all really really good balls so I'm pretty comfortable with any of those if it suits me. So one last blast with this driver. A bad one, slightly healy. So up to 287 on the fly scope, and yeah, 294 on the GC2 as well. Not a bad one. Seems those are the first real shots I've hit today. <laughs> So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please comment in the box below. I always like to know what you guys think. What do you think of my bag going into the 2016 season? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. And we'll see you down here next time.